the usual view is that crowding leads to aggression, and this view is based on, in the 1960s, someone did experiments with rats, where he crowded rats, and they multiplied, and they became more and more crowded, and they started killing each other, and even cannibalizing each other. And people began to believe this story, that crowding led to human aggression. I'm personally not convinced at all because I'm from a very crowded nation and the, the Netherlands is very, a very high population density compared to the US, for example, and the murder rate is 10 times lower. Or you go to Tokyo, a city that is far more crowded than a city like Los Angeles, and the murder rate is, is maybe 100 times lower. So I've never believed in this crowding aggression hypothesis and uh, started testing it in primates. And in primates, there's actually very little support. So for example, in macaques, what you find is that aggression goes up slightly when you crowd them, but grooming goes up far more. In chimpanzees, uh, under some circumstances, aggression doesn't even go up. So you crowd them in a very small space, and aggression stays basically the same, but they do a lot more grooming, a lot more greeting, they have a lot of more rituals to keep the peace, I think. So, and I think humans do the same thing. Humans in a crowded place, they, for example, the elevator effect is very well known. If you, if you uh, put a lot of people in an elevator, their voices go down, their gestures go down, they, they start behaving in a way that causes less disturbance because they're in a crowded situation. I think crowding sets in motion certain mechanisms that we have to, uh, of appeasement, of calming down, not raising your voice too much, uh, formalizations, for example, Japan, a very crowded place, has a lot of formal formalization, formal greeting ceremonies in the, in the culture. And I think if you have less space, like in the US, for example, when immigrants came to the US and started moving west, uh, you can easily imagine how if there was a, a big fight between two families in a village where one would at some point say, well, then I'm go somewhere else and you move out of the out of the way, which means also, of course, that you're not developing your conflict resolution skills because may, basically you're using space as your conflict resolution mechanism. And I think that's why the U.S. is less good at conflict resolution than a lot of crowded places.